What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and iOS 11.2 was unexpectedly released last night at around 1am. Let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the bugs, fixes, glitches, and also some new changes in this update. So there's a few things I want to mention in this update that are very important that I think you guys will enjoy. So right off the bat, I'm going to be explaining why this update was released so early. So iOS 11.1.2 was actually released a few weeks ago, and there's actually an issue where on December 1st at 12.15 a.m., the phone would basically go in a boot loop where it would respring, and you'd have about 30 seconds to use the phone, and it would respring again, and you'd have another 30 seconds to use the phone, and it was just an endless cycle of this. Now, the way to fix it was you had to change your date and time, but you can only have 30 seconds to do it, so this was an awful glitch. So what Apple decided to do was they decided to release the latest iOS 11.2 beta to basically the public. They just didn't call it that, but it's essentially the same version because that beta was not having the issue that everyone else was having. So pretty much at the moment, everyone's on the beta. It's just not identified as a beta. So that's sort of why this update was released so early, especially at 1 a.m. That's just crazy. But on with some of the new features and changes. So in this update, the performance has actually been pretty good. Probably by far one of the best iOS 11 updates I've seen. This is actually identical to the beta that I've been using on a daily basis so I don't really notice much of a performance change which is good because the performance in the past betas were great I didn't really have a problem a few animations stuttered here and there but that's expected with an iPhone 6s plus but I'm sure if you have an iPhone 8 or 7 you should be fine with animations and things like that older devices have a few laggy animations but for the most part performance is great now there is one really glitchy area in this iOS 11 update the widget panel the widget panel bug was removed in the past update for the most part but then was added again and then in this update for the public 11.2 it's now present so it really stinks the widget panel is basically unusable for me within the first 10 seconds of loading it it's just ridiculous that you have to wait 10 full seconds to basically use the widget panel and i like using the widget panel to use spotlight search but what's really good to see is that the glitch to remove the dock actually still works you can actually use that iphone 10 dock tutorial that i made a while back still currently works on this update and I'm glad Apple hasn't removed it. Now one of the changes in the control center that was in the iOS 11.2 beta that is now present in the final release of iOS 11.2 is if you go into the control center and turn off or on one of the Wi-Fi toggles for the first time, you're now going to get this little pop-up on your iOS device, and it's basically going to explain how the Wi-Fi settings work. So basically what this does is turning off the Wi-Fi icon through the control panel won't actually turn off Wi-Fi. What it will do is it'll disconnect it from any networks you are currently connected on, rather than turning it off. The same goes for Bluetooth. So if you have Bluetooth turned on and you turn it off through the control center, what's basically going to happen is your phone is going to disconnect itself from any devices that are connected to it. But Bluetooth itself will still remain on. So this is really bad because battery life is going to decrease very fast. And while we're on the topic of battery life, I just want to mention that battery life has been okay. It hasn't been awful on this beta, but something I do want to mention is I believe that this might just be my phone only. I know a lot of other people that are experiencing this as well. Basically the percentage on your iOS device is not given an accurate reading of what the actual percentage of the battery life is. Well, what I notice is the battery will drop so fast to 20% or 15% right around there, and then it will just sit there for literally like an hour, and then it decreases again really fast. So if your phone says like 20%, you might actually have like another hour out of it, just because the phone is not giving you an accurate reading. Now, I don't like this because, for example, let's just say I'm using my phone, it's at 20%. I might think I have an hour left, but if my phone is giving an accurate reading at that time, I might only have like 20 minutes. So this is really bad. It's not very reliable or consistent to continually look at the battery life on your iPhone, but it is one of my biggest gripes about this iOS version. Anyways, that is about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I've got a bunch of really cool videos coming out soon, and I do just want to apologize for this week. I was so busy and iOS 11 beta 5 came out at such a random time and I even think there is a beta 6 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I've just been very busy and then when this update came out I just decided to make a video on this 11.2 rather than the betas just because they're essentially the same thing at this point. So I do apologize for the late upload, but I do have a bunch of really cool videos planned for the future, so stay tuned for that and as always, peace.